Good morning and welcome back to Plan Adult History. Today we are going to discuss what if Caesar conquered Parthia. We all know We all know who Caesar is, and we know about Parthia, right? Parthia is just a different name for Persia, or as we know it nowadays, Iran. Caesar was a successful general and he was inspired by Alexander the Great. However, Alexander the Great managed something, what Caesar wasn't able to do, to conquer all of Persia. Caesar had difficulties in doing so not only from a militaristic point of view, but because he was assassinated. Caesar, he had too many enemies from within, because he became too powerful and for many other reasons as well. I will now not explain which reasons they were, but I will just continue about this specific alternate history. In this video, I will focus on this alternate timeline in where Caesar wasn't assassinated and when we look at his military achievements, we can say that Caesar would definitely be the best person to go and conquer Parthia. He would also have, an, an, he would also have another reason for doing that. Cassius was fighting against the Parthians but he lost. Not only that, but he was killed in the battle against the Parthians. Caesar, he could use this as a perfect casus belly to invade the Parthians. However, before doing that, he would have to deal with Dacia first, which was actually his initial plan. Yes, Caesar was an ambitious person, and as we all know, he got killed. But what if all of that changed? What if Caesar conquered Parthia? Let's just assume that those who wanted to kill Caesar would wait for another better moment or they were just unprepared in that moment when they did it in OTL. Caesar would then again vanish and deal with Dacia. Dealing with Dacia wouldn't take long because Dacia already had many internal issues due to the sudden death of their own king. He died in the same year Caesar did in OTL but since in this alternate timeline Caesar isn't dead yet well, Caesar would be well and alive and conquer all of Dacia. As a result, Caesar could rapidly go on with his invasion of Parthia. Now, Plutarch claimed in his writings that Caesar would not only take over Parthia, but continue with the pacification of Scythia, Germania, and then he would go and return to Rome. This, of course, is impossible and someone as smart as Caesar wouldn't do something like that. Caesar knew where the limits were and he had to eventually come back to Rome in order to secure his position and his power. As a smart tactician, Caesar wouldn't just annex Parthia outright or attack them from Mesopotamia. Caesar would instead make a stop in Armenia. Why Armenia, you may ask? Armenia was an ally of Rome. And Armenia may even give Caesar some soldiers, and Caesar could also have some camps or arrest in Armenia. And also attacking Parthia from Armenia would be a better option than attacking from Mesopotamia, because usually Mesopotamia was taken over by powers that came from Parthia. Caesar would, as a result, attack Parthia and win all of Mesopotamia. Armenia would also expand a little bit. Caesar wouldn't like to make endless campaigns all over Parthia and he would be satisfied by taking revenge against the Parthians, strengthening the position of Rome in the east and creating a lot of chaos in the Iranian plateau. As a result, he would then go back to Rome where he would try to secure the stability of the empire and eventually his nephew Augustus would take charge. Yes, we will still see a period of instability as in OTL, but eventually Augustus would impose himself. But Tria would not be founded in Germania. Actually, Germania would become largely forgotten, and we may see an earlier shift to the east. Augustus may found a city similar to Constantinople, 
which would instead become Augusturum, or something similar. What are the consequences of that? Well, for starters, Parthia was a richer place and far more valuable than Britain, for instance. As a result, Britain may not even be conquered in the long run by Rome, because it would just simply not be worth it and cost a lot of soldiers. Rome would sometimes venture in Parthia because some tribes or cities would become too powerful and slowly but surely they would conquer almost all of Parthia. Germania could later on see different types of Roman invasions, but not because the Romans wanted to conquer, but because they wanted to secure their position in there and play out the geographical cards by uh, conquering places that were close to rivers, such as the Rhine River. Without Britain, but several additional territories such as Mesopotamia and Chaos in Parthia, Rome would have more manpower to deal with their western borders. Remember, many soldiers they were drawn from different parts of the empire and they were sent in far away places that were not their home. You would see also an earlier omnipresent division between the west and the east, which could lead to an earlier western Roman Empire and eastern Roman Empire. But as for that moment in this alternate timeline, the Pax Romana would become even more influential. Greek would even gain in importance and we could see Persian scholars going to Northern Africa, Rome or Augusturum, while Roman scholars they would then go to Persia for instance. Someone like Augustus could include the Persians in the Roman idea, in this Roman identity and he could make efforts in integrating the Persians into the empire. They could eventually become citizens as well. Trade from all parts of the empire would flourish, new religious ideas would pop up and mix in unprecedented ways, new influences from China and India would enter Rome as well, and the Roman Empire could even be able to establish permanent embassies in other parts of the world, such as India and China. Another possible invasion we could see would not be the one of Germania or Britain, but of Arabia. The Romans would want to secure trade from the Indian Ocean and cut out the middleman, which in that case would be Yemen for instance, or also tribes around today's Oman. With more manpower, Rome may certainly be able to manage Western Europe, but what about the new eastern west border? That would be almost impossible unless the people in there would be totally Romanized. But then again, would they be Roman or just Hellenized? Because Greek would inevitably become the lingua franca in the eastern part. Around the second century, we would see some type of Roman crisis appear. Not only because the nomads that would invade Roman Parthia, but mainly because of them, and also the deep division that already existed between the East and the West. There would also be some type of stagnation in the economy, and the peoples well, of Western Rome, they would really feel forgotten, because much of the focus was derived in the Eastern part. The nomads may not be able to establish a Sassanid empire as in OGL, but this earlier Eastern Rome would have large problems in defending the Iranian plateau. And at the same time, we would see usurpers and generals from Europe and from Northern Africa who would then sweep in and create big troubles in the East. Christianity may get a larger influence from Zoroastrianism, for instance, However, we don't really know much about the pre-Sassanid Zoroastrianism, and as a result, I can't determine how this type of Christianity would look like. Western Rome would not even become Christian, as it would be too Greek, while North Africa too would not gain much of a Christian influence. Whoever ruled this alternate Eastern Rome would surely lose much of Parthia, but also face other fronts coming from Northern Africa, who would want to secure Arabia and coming from Europe, seeking to unite 
all of what used to be Rome, but with a greater focus this time on the western part of the empire. Who will reunite Rome? Will Mesopotamia still stay part of the Roman sphere of influence? Is the Roman Empire forever gone, shattered throughout Europe, Asia and Northern Africa, only waiting to be destroyed by the barbarians? Or will we actually see a comeback of a Persian-based empire? And that's where we leave it for now. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment, support me also on Patreon and join my forum forum.planetalthistory.ga Until next time on Planet Alt History